There are many engines on the Scarlowy Nail Gauge Railway, but no matter how different they are, they always get along, most of the time. One day, Peter Sam was doing some shunting when Duncan pulled up next to him. So Top and Hat told him to come help with the shunting. Of course you need help. You always do. You're just an old grouch. That's the attitude, Duncan. So I haven't been allowed to use the car someone else owned and pay the price for that. Pa, snorted Duncan, you're just too lazy. Watch how the master does it. And he biffed the freight car, which derailed. The next day, Duncan was still grumbling. He had taken some passengers when Edward popped up next to him. Hi, Duncan! He puffed cheerfully. He was visiting the railway for a few days. Ah, shut up, you old geezer, snorted Duncan. Edward was offended. Duncan was shocked, but quickly recovered. You, Scarlowy, Peter Sam, so handle, it all just the bent it gets. Edward was so furious he left without batting an eye. When Scarlowy and Sohando heard about this, they didn't even react. Don't worry, they said. He'll learn his lesson soon. Their chats came sooner than they expected. Duncan was taking trucks full of ballast to Edgewood Station. He had to cross a long bridge with a turntable with a gate that closed when the turntable was moving. Duncan couldn't stop. Hi ho, away we go, we're going to run away with an engine and towel, saying the freight cars. Oh no, cried Duncan. Soon, Edward and Peter Sam arrived with the breakdown train. They were delighted. Well, well, well. Now we really know how the master does it. You showed us, Duncan. Laughed Peter Sam. Now we've just learned how to mess everything up. Agreed Edward. This time, Duncan knew it was best to say absolutely nothing.